Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I've done it. I've started a booktube. I don't know how I got here, but we're on booktube, baby. This is so different, so new for me. So I am hoping that you guys are gonna enjoy my videos. Um, this is crazy. If you guys did not know, I have a BookTok account and a Bookstagram, which is all Molly Reads 7. If you guys wanted to follow me on there, if you didn't already know that I'm on there, then I will pop the links in my bio thingy down here um, so that you guys can find me. But this is all new territory for me. This is so different, but I'm so excited to take you guys on this journey. Um, and I am nervous, but I think what not better way to do it than to start my first video off with a Q and A. So you guys can get to know me just that little bit better and we can talk all things books. So I started book talk in July this year, and I did not know that it would open myself up to such a beautiful community. And I cannot imagine my life without a lot of the people that I've met through book book talk um and so i thought let's do it a lot of people have been asking me to start a youtube account so here we are um i am ready and i am ready to do this with you guys so our q a is going to be the first video and i have asked a lot of questions on all of my social media platforms to see what you guys would like me to answer and i have a few questions i have a few things that people want to know so i thought let's get into it and i'll tell you a little bit more about myself Alrighty. So obviously my name is Molly and I have been reading since I was a teenager and I read fanfics on Wattpad. I read the after series. They were the first things that I read. Um, I obviously loved them. And then I sort of lost touch with reading. I didn't know what I liked. I didn't, couldn't find anything. I really just read Wattpad because it was easy and convenient. It was on my phone. Um, so I didn't read for a really long time. And then when I was probably about a year and a half ago, one of my good friends said, look, I think you should read this book and I think you might like it. It was a very popular book talk book and I'm going to get into it when I read some of these questions. Um, and I fell in love with it. I absolutely fell in love with it and I have not stopped since. Since starting my book talk account, I have read so many more books. I have been opened up to a whole new world of reading and I just cannot imagine my life without it. I spend all my time reading. That's all I do. Um, whenever I have a free moment, I'm either on TikTok or <laughs> reading. So there's really no in between. Um, and my job keeps me really busy. It keeps me really, really busy. And sometimes all I need to do is come home and just escape into a fictional world. And that's what I love about reading. I have always been up and down with my relationship with reading. And at the moment, I'm just absolutely loving it. I'm such a mood reader. I will read anything and all thing romance. I love romance. And yeah, um, so let's get into some of the questions. So the first question is, what is my favorite book genre and trope? So I love romance. I love romance books. You will not catching me reading another book unless it's got romance in it. So I'm putting that out there. And my favorite trope at the moment is small town cowboy. That is my favorite. I absolutely will eat up a small town romance. I love them. They are so, so good. And some of my favorite books are small town romances. So that at the moment is my favorite trope, but I will always, always, always be reading romance. Always, always. Unless I'm reading like a memoir every once in a while, but that's fine. Second question is how many books have I read this year? This year I have read 65 books, which is absolutely insane. Last year I read 12, 12, um, one book a month. And my goal on Goodreads this year was to read 20. And then I had to change it to 40 and then I changed it to 60. And now I think I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I'm going to let whatever books I read be extras because I never, ever knew I was going to read this much this year. Ever since I got my Kindle in May, 
I have read so, so much more now that I listen to audiobooks. I read more because I can listen to them wherever I go. Um, so I absolutely, I, I don't even know how I got here. I was only supposed to read 20 books this month, this year. So anyways, 65 and counting. The next question is Kindle or paperback? Kindle all the time. I will always pick Kindle. I did not know how I did life without my Kindle. I used to read all paperbacks and then I said, no, I'm never getting a Kindle. Like, why would I ever want that? I'm never going to use it. it. I don't like reading off a screen. I love the feeling of turning a page. I love knowing where I am in the book. I was so wrong. Like, I was absolutely so wrong. Now I, I don't read my paperbacks. I have them as trophies, as you can see in the background, but I will rarely read a paperback unless the writing is super big. That's the only thing. I love my Kindle for the fact that I can read at night and I don't have to have a light on. I can do a lot of other things. Like you can annotate it without even having to draw on anything. You can see exactly how far you are into the book by just looking at the percentage and you can see how long's left in the chapter. Like that's amazing. That's top notch. That's top notch reading quality. Like I can't explain. I don't, I don't know why I ever thought that I wouldn't like a Kindle. And let me also tell you that my Kindle has opened me up to so many new books because you've got Kindle Unlimited and you've got suggestions. And I never would have read half the books I read this year without my Kindle. So I owe my Kindle everything. It is my child, my love of my life. I take it everywhere with me. So that answers that question. My favorite book of the year. My favorite book of the year. If you know me, you know that it is Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. I love this book so much. I talk about it so, so much. It is a small town cowboy country romance novel. Um, it is set in Wyoming and it is just so sweet and wholesome and everything that you really want in a book. I like it's spicy. It's the perfect contrast of spicy scenes and sweet, cute, fluffy scenes. It is sunshine and rainbows in a book. Um, I've not really met anyone that said that they didn't like it. The writing is spectacular. Lila is just such a lovely human being. And I, yeah, I love it. It's my favorite book. It is probably going to be one of my favorite books of all time. Um, and if any of you haven't read it, I really, really highly recommend it because it is such a fun read and it is such a quick read too. The chapters are short. Um, I read it in a day and that was me trying to savor it because I knew how good it was. I didn't want it to end. Um, so that is my favorite book of the year. Favorite book of the year, favorite book of all time. You guys know that. If you have me on TikTok, you'll see. Right. The next question is favorite book series that I would recommend to other people. And I would have to say the Chestnut Springs series. I'll pop them all here um, by Elsie Silva. This series is so, so good. And it is really good an introduction to small town country romance. If you want to get into it and you don't know where to start, I think that that series is fantastic. You start with Flawless, which is such a good start to the series. You will be hooked as soon as you read the first book. And from then on out, it just gets better and better. I do not recommend Hopeless, which is the fifth book in the series, because I personally didn't like it, but a lot of people did. Um, but even without Hopeless, it is a fantastic series. It is top notch quality. Um, Elsie really outdid herself. Um, and it, yeah, it's amazing. I can't recommend it enough. Then the next question is what book got me into reading? So I mentioned before that my friend told me to read this book that was trending on TikTok and you all probably know what it is, but it's, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. Um, I read that book and it was the first book I'd read in, in years. Um, and I was obsessed. I was instantly obsessed and I actually started reading all of her books. I think that Colleen Hoover is a 
great gateway romance author. If you don't know where to start and you really want to get into romance books, she is perfect. Those books are amazing. I know that there's a little bit of controversy around her, but I do highly recommend her books. I have loved every single one of them, um, except for It Starts With Us, but that's for my own personal reasons. Um, and I do think that she's a great gateway author to get into romance books. I do now think that if I read them again, I probably wouldn't like them as much because there are so many better authors out there. But if you're just starting off, that's, that's what I highly recommend for new readers. The next question is, have I ever DNF'd a book? The answer is no, I have never DNF'd a book. There are books that I've started that I um, am getting back to, like I'm coming back to them, but I haven't DNF'd them. I'm not giving up on them yet. And those books include Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. The only reason I haven't finished that is because I took it with me to work and my water bottle spilled all over it. So my copy got ruined. Um, the second one is Fall Boys by Penelope Douglas. I, I will get back to it. I promise I will, but I'm just not in the mood for it. Uh, the third one is I started Akatar. I know I'm 15% into it, but I started it after I read Fourth Wing and it just really wasn't, it really wasn't as good. So I just, I had to put it down. I was in a slump after Fourth Wing. So I was like, I'll, I'll get back to it, which I will eventually, right? Yeah, I'll get back to it. Otherwise, a lot of my friends will not be happy with me. <laughs> Why booktube? Why booktube? I sort of answered it before. Um, I have had a TikTok account for a while and I have met so many beautiful people. There is such a beautiful community there. Um, and I, I thought, why not try it out? Why not try booktube out? I can actually sit here and talk to you guys for a lot longer than a couple minutes, like you can on TikTok. Um, and I can actually really just go into depth with you guys about books. And I've been watching booktube for a really long time. I have loved YouTube. Um, and I love listening to what people think about books. I love getting book recommendations. Um, so I thought I should just give it a go. I'll just give it a go, see how I go. Um, and I am so excited to just grow a community more and meet new people, meet more people and just see how it goes. Like it's just, it's a bit of a trial. Let's see if anyone actually wants to watch any of these videos. <laughs> Top 10 books. So I'm going to go and grab them and then I will tell you like rapid fire why I like them so much. Alrighty, I'm going to go grab them. Alrighty, so I've got my top 10 books that I read um, and my bookshelf is looking a little bit bare now. But anyways, so the first one is Reckless by Elsie Silva. This is the fourth book in the Chestnut Spring series. This book is so good. Theo Silva is just like, he's delicious. I couldn't get enough of him. Um, I love him. I love him. I love him. And I love this book. It was a five star read for me. It is the, my second favorite in the series, um, but it is so good and I highly recommend it. And then I have Juniper Hill. I really, really love this book. It is a single mom um, trope and he, oh, he knocks Eden. Like, knocks Eden is just, he's perfection. He is top notch, elite level. Um, he is the, he runs a restaurant and she is the housekeeper um, at the hotel that they all work at. And I just, like, I love this book. I love it so much. Redeemed by Lauren Asher. This is the fourth book in her Formula One series. I love this book so much. It is so beautiful and just the perfect way to end the series. It really, like it had such amazing mental health rep in this and I really, really loved that. Um, I love seeing the character development from both characters. It's a fake dating. Um, it's it's so good. It's It's so, so good. The next one is Maggie Parks. <laughs> Guys, I didn't think I was going to like this, but I absolutely fucking loved it. I loved it. It is so, so good. Um, it's so toxic. Maggie and BJ, I love them so much. And this book, I read it in 24 hours. It was amazing. It is so, so good. I was crying. I was laughing. I was screaming. I was giddy. Like, I, it, it's just, it's, like a, it's a Gossip Girl spinoff, essentially. It's so good. 
Um, of course, I had to put Fourth Wing in here. Um, this is the first fantasy book that I ever read. The first fantasy book I ever read, and I think it's ruined me for all other fantasy books. Um, the world building was not that hard to get into. I really, really loved it. And I think Rebecca Yaros did a really good job considering this is her first fantasy book. Um, of course, I have to put Done and Dusted in here. I talked about it before. It's it's in my top 10. I'm sorry, guys. It's in my top 10. Um, take that as you must. Um, the next one is Heartless by Elsie Silva. So this is the second in the Chestnut Spring series. This is such a good book. It is single dad nanny trope. Um, he, Cade, the mouth on him is exceptional. I love the banter between him and Willa. Willa is such an amazing FMC. She's probably my favorite FMC that I've ever read. She is so sassy. She is so funny and they are just perfect together. They are perfect and the story is perfect. The writing is perfect. It's, it's infinity stars for me, this book. I loved it with my whole heart. The next one is The Right Move by Liz Tomford. It is the second book in the Windy City series. I also highly, highly recommend Caught Up, which is the third one in the series. The whole series is fantastic. It is amazing. And when you read them, you don't think that the male character could get any better, but she keeps writing such amazing fictional characters. She knows exactly how to write them, exactly how to execute the story properly. And this series is just, it's my one of my favorite series to ever exist. And if you are thinking about reading it, please, please do. My next one is Defending the Player by Eloise Tynan. This is the third book in the Pearson U series. Um, this is the special edition cover. So this is not the the original cover. This is the special edition cover, but this book is insane. It's amazing. It is the best one in the series by far. I love Eloise's books. I love the whole series. Um, and she is one of my top authors. She's one of my auto buy authors. I love her. She's an Australian author. I love it. And last but certainly not least is Praise by Sarah Kate. I love this book. I read it and I didn't think I was going to like it all that much because it's not really my type of book. Um, but man, oh man, this had me sweating. This book had me sweating. I was out of breath. I was panting. I wanted more. This was hot. This book was so hot. And I had to stop a few times and be like, whoa. But it is so good. I highly recommend it. Um, and I've read the second book in the series too. And it just keeps getting better and better. So this is such a good book. Please, please go read it. All of those books are five stars for me. Five stars or infinity stars for me. Um, so yeah, those are my top 10 books. And that was my Q&A. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy my book tube so welcome welcome if you're new and thank you for staying if you are from tiktok i love you all i will see you guys really soon i would love if you would like comment and subscribe i'd love to hear how many books you guys have read this year so please comment how many books you guys have read this year and i will be seeing you guys really really soon if you'd like to catch up with me on tiktok i post daily and i go live almost every day as well and i'll pop that down below bye everyone